Moving to the next stage, you might want to now think about creating audio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the project and I'm going to add an audio track. And a stereo audio track at that, okay? So now, uh, you can set up now to record and output data to this audio track. Rendering stuff as audio is very important in the workflow with Montage. Um, what it does, it allows you to reuse your hardware because what you're doing here is you have a synthesizer. It's like having an acoustic instrument. It's like having an instrument. We can multi-track and reuse its hardware, its, its capabilities, uh, so that if I want to add a, a big Seattle string section or whatever, I can use the full montage. I'm not going to be limited by running out of MIDI channels. Rendering audio is part of the workflow. The 32 digital outputs makes this a breeze. I can actually take individual outputs on the kick drum, the snare drum, the hi-hats that I played, and put those on separate audio tracks. Why would I do that? Because I might want to process those separately. So each project might have a different workflow. What you want to do is get comfortable with the different kinds of things you can do between the montage and your DAW. So it's a very powerful system. There is no one way to work. You kind of have to figure your best way. Each project could invent a new way for you to work. So in other words, uh, I mentioned that I could take the kick drum and send it to a separate audio output. I could take the snare and put it on a separate output. Take the hi-hat. I use hi-hat, closed, open, and the pedal. I might want to route those to a single um, output, all right? I don't need to have, you know, an open hi-hat separate from the closed hi-hat necessarily. Or if I played tom-toms, I might route those to a stereo uh, track so that I could maintain the panning. Now, you would take something to a separate audio output if you plan to process it differently in your DAW. You don't really gain anything by having it on a separate audio track unless you're going to process it separately and do something different. So, once again, there's, you know, it's one of my themes. There's never one way to work. It's always predicated on what you want to accomplish because it's your music production.